at the lead up to the miners strike there was a, certainly an air of gloom and pessimism um, the writing was on the wall we all knew and been warned by Skarga for months prior to that that um, it was something we had to do to protect our futures it was a whole industry millions of men fighting for the future but as for the future of coal mines of those days, I don't think any of us had any idea it was going to be so quick and so strong. The miners' strike began in March 1984. The belief that the strike would be over in weeks soon ended, and clashes between pitmen and police became a nightly occurrence on TV. What I did find is, is during the miners' strike and, and since how rapidly all these pits become uneconomic all of a sudden. You know, everybody was in the same boat. Everybody had mainly the same problems. So there was always some somebody they talked to, or to give you a bit hand with something. I mean, nobody had any money. We thought we were going to win, and we were going to keep the, the collieries, not just West Colliery, but all the collieries of, of the uh, British coal field. Nationally and regionally, the gradual demise of pits was accelerated by the year-long strike, but friendship survived. We've all got no pits left. I think the main community are still a pro community. We're still fighting for things in our community for all we've lost our jobs. It was a period of time where there was just nothing at all coming in and it did wreck havoc. It really did. <laughs>